Blackpink's journey in tears, South Korean population is facing a shocking decline, Hwasa might be summoned by the police due to an indecency complaint, the squid came to shooting controversy, the production team of King the Land was accused of disrespecting Arab culture, and Jessie opens up about the standing of her relationship with Psy after she left his agency. Blackpink's journey in tears. During the recent BST concert in London, Blackpink's journey was seen crying during the group's performance of Tally, which rapidly ignited the wave of online discussion. Fans have been wondering about the reasons behind the singer's emotional outpouring. The lyrics of the song, particularly the line, that's my choice and there's no one I'm hurting, portray a woman dealing with her identity and position in life. This has led some fans to conjecture that Jenny might have been moved by the song's strong storyline. Others have suggested that the surge of the crowd's energy or the prospect of performing in front of a large audience might have gotten to her. Fans have been supporting Jenny, praising her authenticity and emotional transparency on stage. They have pointed out that it's quite common for performers to have emotional moments during their performances, especially when the songs they're performing have a deep personal resonance. This event has also sparked a wider discussion about the pressures faced by idols in the entertainment industry. Several fans have expressed concerns about the relentless scrutiny these idols are subjected to and the potential mental health problems this could induce. However, one fan responded to the news with a plea for Jenny to take responsibility for her actions, pointing out that a significant portion of the criticism directed at Blackpink stems from her. The fan identified three main issues. Jenny's perceived discrimination against fans based on geographical location, her alleged lack of respect towards her fellow band members, and her disregard for the group's image. They suggested that Jenny could rectify these issues during their upcoming break and by being more considerate in selecting her future acting roles to regain the support of those fans who have been disillusioned by her recent actions. What's your opinion? Please let me know in the comments. South Korean population is facing a shocking decline. South Korea has been facing a troubling trend in recent years, namely a notable reduction in new student enrollments. This phenomenon primarily stems from the country's worryingly low birth rates. Annual births in South Korea have seen a significant and unprecedented drop over time, with the number falling below 250,000 for the first time in the nation's recorded history. This alarming trend denotes a striking 50% reduction compared to a decade ago. The country's total fertility rate for 2022 points a somber picture, barely surpassing 0.8 and plateauing at an unsettling 0.78 the world's lowest birth rate. This consistent downward pattern in birth rates has endured for seven continuous years since 2015, with 2015 being the only exception. The data from the last decade presents a disheartening scenario, illustrating a steady decrease in birth rates every year except for the one anomaly. These dwindling birth rates have consequently impacted the annual student enrollment figures. Based on data from the Ministry of Public Administration, a distinct downward trend in student enrollment is discernible. Hwasa might be summoned by the police due to an undecency complaint. The group known as Solidarity for the Protection of Human Rights of Students and Parents has lodged an accusation against Hwasa for alleged indecency during her show at the university's campus festival in May. On July 10th, Shin Min Hyang, the leader of the organization, shared with the media the reason for this accusation. She asserted that Hwasa had performed an inappropriate act in full public view at the university, which had no musical relevance. This, she explained, was the basis of the act accusation. Media reports indicated that during her performance of Don't Give, alongside rapper Loco, Hwasa squatted down, seemed to run her tongue down her palm, then lowered the hand between her thighs. The video footage of the act has since circulated online, sparking contentious debate about the appropriateness of her actions. Shin Min Hyang expressed disappointment over the dismissive view some people have taken towards the group's decision to accuse Hwasa. She emphasized that even though the organization primarily represents university students as parents, the act illegality was deemed to breach public decency laws rather than just being a parental concern. The accusation followed a legal consultation. She also referenced Hwasa's former agency, RBW, responsible for her at the time, stating they held the protest outside the agency's building. Despite being fully aware of the situation, the agency did not provide any further statement and Hwasa's exclusive contract eventually ended. The organization leader expressed her confusion over the matter. Shin Min Hyang recognized that university students are not minors. However, she stated that Hwasa was reported due to the inappropriate nature of her actions. In related news, Seoul's Songdong Police Department confirmed that the Solidarity for the Protection of Human Rights of Students and Parents 
had lodged a report against Wasa for a provocative performance. The police have initiated an investigation and plan to summon the accuser for inquiry if deemed necessary after a review. The Squid Game 2 Shooting Controversy The team behind Netflix's Squid Game 2 recently issued an apology following a controversy that sprang up concerning an incident at Incheon International Airport. On July 11th, an unknown person took to an online forum expressing dissatisfaction with the encounter with a member of the Squid Game 2 crew on the previous day. According to the post, the production was filming at the airport during which a crew member obstructed access to a public escalator behaving in a discontentious manner. The anonymous person further explained that the crew member had not taken the time to provide the context or kindly request others to utilize the elevator as an alternative. Instead, the person was met with an irritable and authoritative order to go back. As the online complaints part controversy, the producers of Squid Game 2 extended their apologies later the same day. They acknowledged the online post detailing a citizen's uncomfortable experience during the filming of the show's second season at Incheon International Airport on July 10th. While they had aimed to provide clear information to the public about the on-site situation during the shoot, they expressed regret over causing discomfort. They gratefully acknowledged the understanding of the citizens during the shoot and plans to extend greater caution during future filming. One fan offered their views on this issue, expressing their inability to understand the crew member's rudeness, given that it was the film production team who were causing the inconvenience by shooting at the airport. A fan reiterated that it's an airport where people are often in a rush and underscored the importance of treating each other kindly. The production team of King the Land was accused of disrespecting Arab culture. JTBC's weekend drama King the Land has been under fire recently from viewers for its alleged disrespect of Arab culture. Episodes 7 and 8 of the drama, aired on July the 8th and 9th, introduced a new character, Arab Prince Samir. The narrative revolves around Samir, who is a friend of Guwan's from his study abroad days, visiting King Hotel and instantly falling for Chan Sarang. His affection for Sarang provokes jealousy in Guwon, much to the audience's amusement. However, in advancing the plot, Samir is depicted as a ladies man who indulges in alcoholic beverages surrounded by several women. The character enjoys the nightlife at the venue that seems to be a club and openly flirts with Chan Sarang upon their first meeting. Go One, who has known him from their school days, labels him a playboy. After the release of these episodes, King the Land faced backlash from viewers who believed it displayed a lack of respect for Arab culture, particularly concerning the consumption of alcohol. They called for a genuine apology from the creators of the show. Addressing the criticisms, the production team of King the Land responded briefly, stating that all characters, regions, place names, and other elements featured in the drama were purely fictional. They clarified that they did not intend to mock or misrepresent any specific culture. The production team further emphasized their respect for diverse cultures, promising to pay more attention to the production process to prevent any potential discomfort for viewers. Jesse opens up about the standing of her relationship with Psy after she left his agency. In a recent episode of the podcast Fun with Dumb, hosted by Los Angeles rapper and actor Dumb Founded, singer Jesse openly shared their personal and professional updates. Jesse, in the previous year, had parted ways with her previous label, P Nation, set up by Psy. In April of the current year, she announced her association with More Vision and signed the contract with Jay Park's label. The termination of her contract with P Nation took many fans by surprise. Following the announcement in July 2022, Jesse issued a short message on her Instagram requesting fans to give her some time to gather her thoughts, reassuring them that the truth will eventually unfold. In a solo concert in October 2022, Jessie clarified that she did not sever ties with P Nation due to any animosity, expressing her lasting gratitude to Psy. She indicated that her decision to leave was fueled by her aspiration to establish her own label, capitalizing on her 18 years of industry experience. During the recent podcast, Jesse revisited her departure from P Nation, suggesting that the journey may not have been entirely smooth. She stressed, however, that despite the circumstances surrounding her exit, her loyalty to Psy remains intact. The singer hinted at previous disagreements with Psy, but underlined her unwavering loyalty to him, associating his continued support. Jesse's recent participation in Psy's annual Summer Swag 2023 concert bears testament to their amicable relationship. She lauded Psy for his exceptional performances even after 24 years in the industry. During the podcast, both she and Dumbfounded praised Psy's on-stage prowess, production abilities, and creativity 
with dumbfounded, even suggested that Psy could be considered the greatest Korean performer of all time. Despite her departure from P Nation, Jesse confidently affirmed Psy's status as one of the industry's best especially regarding his creativity and perfectionist nature. Jessie did disclose a minor point of contention in her working relationship with Psy, his tendency to micromanage. However, witnessing his passion and energy during his performance led her to admire his dedication further, despite their age difference. Even though their professional relationship had its highs and lows, it's evident that Jessie holds a deep sense of admiration and respect for her former employer, Psy.